This is the first pasture that is not fenced for sheep. That's on the east side. So as you can see, we're under some trees and there's a creek down there. The outflow from the pond over here. It's a seasonal creek. But you can see that there's not a lot of grass growing here. Uh, we, re we seeded a little bit here in the fall, but this was thick with blackberries. And you can see the other side of that seasonal creek. I didn't seed over there, and we couldn't mow quite as effectively over there as we could here. So I'm trying to revamp some of this and bring grass back, and this would be a great place for, for the animals to hang out in the summer when it's hot and sunny and they just want a shady place to chew their cud and relax. Um, documenting here what it looks like on this first day of spring. Hopefully the wind isn't messing up the sound quality too much. Um, down below there there's more blackberries. Um, West mowed around it. But this wasn't our primary focus last summer. Um, between here and there you can also see where the there's there's not grass that's where there was blackberries coming back and you can see maybe that there are still some blackberry canes popping up um, for some reason the blackberries are stronger over there than they are up here on this little hilltop um, but we'll get them you can see some branches that have come down in the winds over the winter in that back corner that was a a spot that Wes mowed pretty heavily last fall. This spot over here is a hill and it was already wet with that seasonal outflow creek and lots of rain. So that wasn't accessible last fall when he mowed, but this corner was, as was under this couple of trees here. And you can see how there's another seasonal wet spot here. This is another outflow when that primary outflow is full and overflowing then there's a secondary one but this also picks up the water from down the hill so this little spot we need to figure out what to do here maybe something needs to be reshaped so that the water can flow and not just sit because it'll sit there for a couple more months and then the animals can't get down there and we can't use it and um, it just is a mud machine so in this next pasture over here, this is where we focused pretty heavily last summer. Under those trees, or just to the east of those trees, uh, it was a large mound of blackberries, similar to what's across the alleyway there, and we'll get there. Um, but this wasn't growing grass very well, and so we intensively grazed it last year with strip grazing. And uh, right now it's looking pretty good. It looks better than I remember it looking as the grass and the soil were starting to wake up last year. Uh, we reseeded everywhere that we mowed last summer and that looks great. And you can see that there's still another big section back there of blackberries that we need to mow. And uh, we that's about a third of what it was last year at this time. So we're, we're not spraying, we're just mowing and seeding and grazing. And that is effective, it's just a lot of work. There's one more pasture beyond the ridge here. Uh, we go all the way up to those trees in the background. Uh, that pasture I did not graze last year because the fence is down in two spots. Um, it does have another large corner of blackberries, but overall looks pretty good. And this year, if I can't run the cows with the sheep, I'll put the cows through that field as well, and we'll fix that little piece of, those two pieces of fence. So they'll have more to rotate through. One day, we'll get to this side of the property, and in Wes's spare time, when he's not mowing where we're grazing, and he's not fixing the fence, or fixing the house, or one of our other projects, then he tackles these. You can see a little bit over here that there's two mounds of blackberries on the hillside with a green strip in the middle. Um, his whole focus in his spare time has been to keep 
an open an opening in between these two mounds of blackberries. Uh, you can see up above the hill where there's a neighbor's house, you can see that there's more blackberries and it's really thick up there. And it comes all the way up here to the property line in the woods. And it wraps around the back side of the pond. So blackberries are abundant here. And we'll get there. We'll get there. It just takes time. Right now my focus is one pasture at a time. One spot at a time. So this is how it all looks on the first day of spring, 2017. We'll see what it looks like in a couple of weeks as things warm up.